Hi, this is Stephen Whitfield with Drilling Contractor here at the 2020 IADC SPE International Drilling Conference and Exhibition in Galveston, Texas. With me today is Reza Romani, Engineering Manager of PDC Development at NOV. Mr. Romani, thank you very much for speaking with me today. Well, thank you for having me. So I want to ask a few questions about a paper that you presented at this conference on the structural integrity of PDC cutters in hard rock. Uh, my first question is kind of twofold. What are some of the root causes of PDC cutter failure and why may they be so hard to predict? Well, that's a great question actually. Uh, so any PDC failure, we can, we can divide it into components, mechanical and thermal and uh, you know, in pretty much all the cases, it's a combination of mechanical and thermal failure on the PDC cutter uh, that caused the cutters fail. It's interesting that if we were to look at just the strength of the PDC cutter versus the rock, the strength of the cutter is at least an order of magnitude higher than the hardest rock we drill, yet we break the cutters. So that, ha that, can to do, ha that has to do with the thermal component to it, of it, as well as fatigue uh, due to repeated or cyclic loading on the cutters. There might be because of pre-existing flaws in the PDC layer, so PDC te cutter technology has gone a long way in improving the, uh, you know, the grade and the material of, 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 the, of the cutter itself. But you know, there are always some, some, some flaws that could cause the cutters to fail. And finally, it's the abnormal loading of the cutter that could cause the cutter to fail, especially when we are drilling in interbed applications. Uh, we have some, uh, some sudden load in, in, in a directions, unexpected directions that could cause the cutter to fail. Could you go into some of the analyses that you ran for this study and what did each of these analyses reveal about uh, cutter integrity? Well, it was a combination of uh, laboratory testing uh, uh, as well as numerical modeling and field testing. So for lab testing, we did uh, single cutter testing on the cutters, both to uh, measure the thermal resistance of the cutter uh, against wear as well as the cutters resistant to impact damage. So for the impact damage, it was in two parts. One was the front face overload that I'm gonna talk about in the paper, and the other one is a tip overload. These are basically the orientation of the load that we apply to the cutter before a failure. Uh, we did a lot of finite element analysis, which uh, to basically do a sensitivity analysis to see how changes in the stress regime inside the cutter uh, occurs by changing the orientation of the load and also the area that the load is applied to. And uh, later we did uh, fu uh, full scale laboratory testing on hard rocks, rocks uh, such as granite and quartzite with high UCS. Uh, one, in one case the quartzite had a UCS of 56,000 PSI uh, basically to model drilling in a hard rock. And last part of the paper also talks about the performance of these cutters in hard applications uh, such as in West Texas and in Oklahoma. So you looked at round cutters versus v-shaped cutters for this paper. What type of impact damage did you see from each of these different shaped cutters and uh, how did that perform relative to expectations? Well it was one of the scopes of the paper was to see which geometry is more prone to failure. Is it the round conventional cutter or the new shaped geometry that we are, uh, that we are running in the field? Uh, so to our surprise, uh, actually the shape cutter survived better uh, uh, to impact resistance than the round cutter. So we did a uh, finite element analysis to, ident to, under to identify that uh, basically both cutters fail at the same stress level. But the thing that differentiated the shape cutter uh, against the round cutter was the efficiency of uh, rock cutting with the shape cutter that causes lesser load to be applied to the shape cutter for the same given performance, uh, which makes the cutter uh, uh, more durable, per se. Uh, also, the bottom hole pattern that the shape cutter creates uh, uh, reduces the number of ledges at the bottom hole, so less possibility for the cutters to interact with those ledges to break. Uh, 
It's uh, it's uh, it was actually even surprising for us as well because our expectation was that the shape cutter does as well as a round cutter. But what we what we learned that was not only doing as well as a round cutter, but also in some cases it did better than a round cutter uh, in drilling the hard formations. Okay, well, Mr. Romani, thank you very much for speaking with me today. Thank you very much for having me. And thank you for visiting Drilling Contractor.